Katie. I truly feel like I've been writing these vows in my head since our first date. I tell you this often, but when we first met, I knew that you were going to be important in my life. I had no idea what that meant or entailed, but I knew you would change me. A week later was the infamous first date, five years ago today. That literally lasted 10 plus hours. We talked and laughed then the same way that we do now. That day solidified what my heart already knew, that my soul has known yours for some time. Megan, you are my world. I'm not the best decision maker, we all know that. But choosing you as my person was the fastest, easiest decision of my life. Some people say they never know true love before they met their person. But I grew up listening to my dad belt out love songs to my mom in the car, watching them hold hands just sitting on the couch in our home and chasing each other around the house like kids, seeing the closeness of my aunt and uncle at our weekly family dinner at grandma's house, watching Jess and my brother truly grind to create an amazing life together. When they had Kingston, Eli, and Enzo, I loved like I never had before. And witnessing a 60-year love between my grandparents who still touch and love and joke the way that I have always known them to. Before you, I had a full life, full of family, full of friends, of passion, and completely full of love. But you came around, just like you do, big smile and all, and showed me that love and life don't just have to be full. They are meant to be limitless. The love and importance of family is evident in everything that you do. Your relationship with your family is priceless and incredible. Psst. Family is your foundation for everything. Your loyalty, your strength, your love, and your admiration of generations. I appreciate this so much because I feel the same way, and that was so important to me with finding my partner. Family is first, and I promise I'll be your family forever. I grew up with the saying, you will always marry someone like your father. <laughs> now, it's a little different than I imagined, <laughs> but I truly do see a lot of the same qualities in you as I do my dad. You remind me of him. As we all know, I'm a clone of my mother, and growing up and admiring how much love and how strong and perfect of a couple my parents are and their dynamic together balancing each other, I see that in us too. I see the resemblances, and I'm certain that our love and marriage will be just as amazing as theirs. So now Megan and Katie begin a new chapter in their lives, and we are so happy for them because we see how much love they have for each other. Katie has always been a source of joy to us with her fun-loving personality and her good decision-making when she gets around to making that decision. One of Katie's best decisions is that of Mary and Megan, who we dearly love. She is such a wonderful woman raised by a close, loving family with qualities and values that are shared by our family as well. The Moinos don't do anything half-assed. When we show up, we all show up. If you get in a fight, we're all getting in a fight. If you're partying, we're partying. What I could really appreciate sitting here looking at everybody is the Benedicts seem to be cut from the same cloth, right? We're all out here, we're all supporting these two. Hold each other tight, kiss each other long, celebrate one another, be vulnerable, and love each other endlessly. I'm going to remember today forever for two reasons. The first is that my big sister Katie gets to marry her best friend, her partner in crime, and the love of her life. And the second is that today is the day I officially go from having the best sister in the world to having the two best sisters in the world. This is one of the happiest days of my life. I want to congratulate you and your beautiful bride. And I'm so glad that Katie came into our lives because she changed us. I just hope that everything comes true for you guys. You're perfect together. 
you know I love you, baby. You know, it's my great pleasure to now pronounce you married. Give me a kiss.